In this lesson, we are now ready to look at second order differential equations. So we're going to look at a second order homogeneous equation. Remember that a homogeneous equation means that the right hand side is set equal to zero. Now we can use our general solution, general test, and we'll call that C E to the R T. We like to use exponentials because it's easy to, to do, to use. So now we just have to put it in. And our second derivative, well, we can just to review, just should be fairly simple. Second derivative is just doing the derivative twice. And so In this case, the constant comes out, and do e to the rt, and the chain rule is going to give me an r e to the rt. And when I do it again, the constant is going to come out, and I'm going to have an r, that's just a constant, comes out. And I'm going to have e to the rt, derivative of that, I'm going to have another r, so this r gets squared e to the rt. So c r squared e to the rt plus 5 c r e to the rt plus 6 c e to the rt equals 0. Our constants are going to cancel out. Our e to the rt is going to cancel out. And that just leaves me with r squared plus 5 of r plus 6 equals 0. And I can take and factor this. So I have two roots, for this differential equation. And this makes sense. If I put this into my homogeneous solution, I'm going to get one term. that's going to have the first root. And I'm going to have a second term with the second root. So when you have a second order or your highest differential, in this case it's a second differential, when, you, when it's two I need two independent homogeneous solutions. And that's what I've gotten. And notice that the constants, I've given two different subscripts, so the constants do not have to equal the same thing. They can be two separate numbers. So this is the homogeneous solution to our equation.